So Sui and Han looking on as the leaders as we come up on our final pairing. The Germans have Chenko and Masso. They qualified for their first ever Grand Prix final last year, but had to withdraw due to an ankle injury sustained by Sevchenko at the Grand Prix of France. And the points they need to beat, 151-47. And coming off a season's best in the short, despite him having a broken lace and the zipper breaking on her dress. early in the program. The side-by-side -side triple toes. Little forward on Bruno's landing. and not let it turn forward.
They need a personal best to win this event, but that was the best free program we have seen from them thus far in their career. They did skate a personal best in the free skate recently at Skate America to win that event in Lake Placid. Trying to go one better at the Grand Prix Final and overtake Sui and Han to win this event for the first time as a duo. Aliona Sevchenko, a four-time winner with her former partner, most recently 2013. But these two trying to win it together for the first time here in 2017. They've really changed their game plan since the beginning of this season. And even over the last couple of years, they've gone for the throw triple axel, they've gone for the throw quad, where seemingly their intent was just to hit on two feet, getting that high starting point value, not worrying about the grade of execution. Over their last couple of events, they have started to do elements that they're more confident with, and it is so effective. When you have programs like this that do not have mistakes, and you don't have a break or a sloppy landing, it really helps the grade of execution score flow all the way through. They don't have the quad twist in this program, so their starting technical score is lower than Sui and Han. But we saw at the end, they had passed them on the technical mark because of the way they completed these elements. The jumping, that second throw was very close, but he found a way to get it, excuse me, she found a way to get it done. these two with such a history of overcoming obstacles. I mentioned how they had qualified for the final for the first time last year, but had to pull out because she sustained an ankle injury. And then at Skate America recently, he had a back injury that they had to fight through in order to win that event. And then in the short program here, he had a broken lace on his skate, the zipper broke on her dress, yet they still have the lead after a season's best. And you have to think, if he had a back injury two weeks ago, that's not something that's completely gone away. They've done something in their training to be able to get strong without furthering the injury. And that is such a key part, particularly in an Olympic season, where you're trying to be at the top of your game through the Grand Prix circuit, through Europeans, through the Olympics, and then once again at the World Championships, understanding how to take care of your body while being trained and getting stronger and more and more confident throughout this season. And just an unbelievable job getting these things done, getting, this is their best they've shown, putting through these programs with these difficult elements. You see the excitement and the relief. This is going to be a very large score. Even if they don't catch Sui and Han in the free program, they put up enough to be able to take the lead overall. They need a score in the free skate of 151.47 to get the win. Their personal best coming at Skate America recently was lower than that at 150.58. Wow! 157.25! and they get the victory for the first time together at the Grand Prix Final. Yes! By a huge margin, they set a personal best and overtake the world champions Sui and Han, who have dominated all season long. And they produce the win on the biggest stage that the season has had to offer to this point. Really rising to the occasion and meeting the moment just two months before the Olympic Games. And when you put out the highest score of all time in the free program, it is a pretty sure bet that no one is going to be able to catch you.